Gentlemen, good afternoon. I hope you're doing well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to launch your own cryptocurrency. For the purpose of this video, we're going to make it a Cake Moon reward token. Now, the reason we do Cake Moon is the token I own for one. Secondly, you get a lot of people coming over and buying the token when it is a Cake Moon reward token. So you get the support from myself and the community. If anyone is launching a Cake Moon reward token, get in contact with me. I hope you're the marketing. So we'll go ahead. We're on remixetherium.org. And we're going to go to create a new file and we're going to call it, I don't know, um, let's call it cake, 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 dot SOL, so dot so, because it's the language is solidity and that's all you have to do. So here we're going to input our code, which is here. I'll leave this in the description as well. We're going to copy that. I'm going to go back to here and you paste the code. Cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up. And we're going to do a control F search and we're going to type zero X. So here is the reward and we're going to change that. So if you want to do another token like BUSD or anything else, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. It must be a bet 20 token. So if we go here and we just type in cake moon and you can do this for any token, make sure it's the right one that says moon. Go into BSC scan and click contract. If you copy the wrong code, it is case sensitive. It must be this code. You can find it from anywhere from the actual source code, but this is the easiest way I, I use to find it. So copy that in there, replace it. And it must be, like I said, case sensitive. Leave this one and we're going to click down again. And that's the address which uh, for BNB, so that's BNB's address, you want to change the dev wallet as well. So whatever the dev wallet is, um, you can receive the funds. The marketing wallet liquidity can be changed later. And here you want to input the new contract name. So it's called Cake Cake. There's no spaces allowed in this part as well. And for the name, we're going to call it Cake Cake. And for the symbol, we're going to call it CC. Leave everything else. If you want to change the supply, you can do so. So I'll, I'll, let's for the purpose of this video, let's do a really low amount. And here you're going to set the fees. So this contract is all configured to actually launch. So we're going to do 1% liquidity, 2% fees, and we'll do 5% marketing, and we'll take a 1% dev tax. And this is the sell multiplier. So this will, if you want to double the sell tax or you want to put it up a small percentage, you can put 200. If you want to triple it, you put 300. So that will only multiply the sell tax. So the buy tax will be the same which is 9%, but if you do 200, it will be 18%. And you can change that later on anyway. So apart from that, that's pretty much done. So all we're going to do is click here. We want to auto compile it, which basically means it saves it and makes sure it's you know up to date. So if you make any changes, it does that for you as well. We want to enable optimization as well, because that's used for verifying. And we're going to wait for this to compile. You must connect your wallet to this. And then we can go over to here once that's compiled. And you want to click injected web free. And that what that does, that says, oh, we're deploying from MetaMask. And it should pick up my wallet here. Zero X one. So that's that one. So my wallet is connected. Now you want to click this one, cake cake, because that's the name and that's the what you called the file. And once that's done, we want to deploy. And we want to click confirm. Once we've done that, our token is deployed on the main net. Now, it's not tradable at the moment. We need to verify the contract, but first we need to find it. So I'm just going to put my wallet address into BSC scan. And we're going to go to BEP20 transactions when it comes up. And here's a contract creation. So that's my contract here. I believe so. If we go to BEP20, cake cake. And here's my contract. So that is my token now. That is what it looks like on PooCoin. That's my contract address that everyone's going to buy from, etc. So now we want to verify the contract. So click on the contract. Go to contract. Copy this. Do not make any changes, otherwise it will not verify. Click over to here. And we're going to go single file. And it's a... If you want to check... Let me check what compiler version it is. So 7.6. And we can go here. Click on MIT license. Continue. Copy that. And that's why we enable optimization. 
it should verify off of this so we're just gonna fill in the capture and verifying the contract just means you can use the functionality of it um, on BSC scan and also people can read the contract so a lot of tokens that are you know shady won't verify the contract so you don't know what functions they have so that's all done so if someone comes over to here and clicks contract they can read what functions I have and what I can do so once you've done that you want to connect your wallet to here as well and that's the wrong wallet so we can click that one and we'll just refresh it and connect our wallet because we're ready to we're ready to go live and we want to just make sure we expand and there's a few functions you want to do now so you want to add liquidity but to make sure everything's fine you can either put trading on or switch trading off now i'm going to change the max wallet to one percent which i'm going to put in here as max transaction 10 so it's out of a thousand so 10 is one percent 10 100 is 10 percent like that so i'm just going to do that now and i'm going to do it for max wallet as well so you can only buy one percent and what we're going to do is we're going to test the contract and you know make sure everything's running smoothly so we're going to go over to pancake swap now we're going to connect our wallet to pancake swap and then we're going to add liquidity so for this you go to liquidity add and we need the contract address from here And we're just going to put one BNB and we're going to put all the supply. Now what that will do is set the price or the market cap around $300. Now if you put obviously two BNB or less even, you can. Um, that makes it so, you know, the supply is worth a certain amount. So you'll see the price on there. So once you've done that, click supply. And we're going to trade it shortly. So that should show the liquidity gone in there very shortly. So we've got the liquidity. However, trading button is off because we haven't enabled trading. So that's what we're going to go and do now. We're going to go over to here and we're going to type the word true in here. If you want to switch it off, if you're doing anti-bot, you can type false. But I don't expect anybody to buy this because no one knows about this. So we're just going to do a few transactions and see if it actually works. Once that's on, give it about five to ten seconds and we should be able to buy. So I'm going to connect one of my wallets here and we're going to purchase. Actually, I'll purchase from this wallet. That's not an issue. So we're going to go here and we're going to buy 0 And we'll be able to see our transaction going in now. So I'll buy another two. I'll have to use a different wallet because there is a max wallet, like I said before. And we'll just use this wallet. I guess there's money in there. We'll buy another one. What we're going to do is we're going to sell and we need to check if the rewards actually work because what you don't want to do is launch and the rewards do not work so we'll buy another one and we're going to sell this immediately and we're going to see if we received anything in that wallet we'll sell the other wallet first and how we'll check is we'll connect that And let's purchase this, 0 0.1 again. And then we'll immediately sell this. And then we'll work out exactly how and where the rewards went. And we'll be able to say, yeah, this works perfectly. It's ready to launch. I think these are bots buying, which is not a problem. You can blacklist them or you can wait for them to sell. Totally up to you. So that's my buyer going in, I believe. Maybe they front run me or I couldn't get in on the block. 
so it's worked. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell now. Just click confirm. It's quite a few buying, which is a bit annoying. But we'll sell and we're going to track the transaction now. So that's gone through. So that is the swap back setting. So it's important for me to show you this. There is a setting here that shows you swap back setting. So you always want that on. You want it true. And at the moment, it's selling 3,000 tokens. But you want to put the word letter, I mean, the number's 3,000 and type in nine zeros at the end. So whatever number you want it to sell. So if I wanted it to sell, I don't know, um, let's say 10,000 tokens. Yeah, that swaps for the marketing, the rewards, etc. And I'll show you here that it is paying out Cake Moon here. So you can see that has gone to that wallet that sold. Or it, this potentially could be my dividend tracker, actually. No, it's not. It's the Cake Moon dividend tracker. So if you want to find the dividend tracker here, which we can go to contract, type in internal, and then it'll be the one with the contract next to it. And it should show some Cake Moon in here. So it's a very small amount of Cake Moon in here, but it has gone through. And, you know, everyone that's holding will be getting the... How can I put it? The rewards off of that. So it is pretty good. And that's pretty much how you launch your own cryptocurrency. It's pretty simple. It's very cost effective. That cost me $16, something like that, plus my liquidity. And then it's free to go. So I'll just leave this on now, let all the bots sell, and then I'll withdraw the LP. So if you have any questions, please let me know and take care.